A dry winter could cause some parts of the country to experience water shortages this summer, according to the Scottish Environment Protection Agency. Research by CIFA showed January this year was the seventh driest on record for parts of Scotland. And without average rainfall through spring and summer, there's a risk of water scarcity. Our environment reporter Harriet Bradshaw has been to Girvan in Ayrshire to find out more. Farming. A good crop lives or dies by the weather. Something farmer Andrew Young knows all too well. He tells me last summer was the driest he's witnessed in his 40 plus years of farming. The summer went on, it got drier and drier, and the later crops we grew started to struggle uh, quite considerably. And if it hadn't been for irrigation uh, to try and produce these crops to the quality and quantity that's required, it uh, would have been really, 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 it would have been very difficult. Like. And water scarcity is also on the cards this summer because of a particularly dry winter. It's why the Scottish Environment Protection Agency is encouraging businesses to come forward and seek advice. So tell us, Nathan, how does water scarcity affect an environment like this? So water scarcity can affect all parts of Scotland, but where you see rivers like this, you might find if there's water scarcity, you'd have lower levels of water in them, and that means there's, the water would get hotter and it would hold less oxygen for fish and animals, and you start to see plants drying up as well. Which is why enforcement action can be taken against businesses that fail to use water responsibly. So Scotland's climate is changing and we're, and we're already seeing the impacts of climate change. Water scarcity used to be an unusual event, whereas since 2018 we've had a water scarcity event every year since and we're anticipating water scarcity issues affecting Scotland this year. Looking further ahead, climate change is likely to lead to increased severity and frequency of water scarcity across Scotland and we're asking businesses to plan ahead in order to ensure their businesses are resilient for the future. It's something Andrew's business is doing, working with SEPA to work out the best locations to grow crops and take water from different sources depending on the pressures. Winters are wetter and the summers are drier, so it is affecting all type of farming compared to it was, I would say, five years, ten years, twenty years ago. Like. A pattern echoed by scientists and organisations warning us of the challenges we face because of climate change and the need to respond urgently. Harriet Bradshaw, Reporting Scotland, Ayrshire.